<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! This looks a little low. What the hell's going on here? Ah, uh, ah, ah! There it is. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome to a brand new let's play of a game that I've had so many people tell me about that I need to play it, and then it's gonna catch me like off, uh, catch me on by surprise, ladies and gentlemen. This is 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim, or Aegis Rim. I'm just gonna call it 13 Sentinels. Uh, yeah, apparently this is like a huge, huge, huge sleeper hit from 2020, and people just fell in love with it. Frankly, I was waiting for a good time for like when the game's on sale, and thankful, uh, thankfully, the past uh, holiday season, you know, Black Friday and all that, it went down pretty pretty damn good price. I'm like, cool. And I'm like, you know what? I think this will be a, a fun LP. So if I time everything correctly, this should be the first LP of the 2022 season, I guess, of my channel. So uh, yeah, uh, apparently this is like a visual novel slash real-time strategy game. And frankly, that is what I was afraid of in this game, because I'm like, I'm terrible when it comes to RTSs. But apparently, it's nothing I need to worry about a lot. So, you know what? Let's just see how things happen. Let's go a new game here. Uh, please select an audio language. It can be changed any time the options. I actually, now I usually, I always pick English, and I actually heard English to dub is pretty damn good here, so I'll do English. I repeat. We interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A large unidentified object has crash-landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kasumicho, destroying everything in its path. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. Please defer to the police for further instructions. Be advised that the express lanes are currently out of service. Roads are expected to face heavy congestion. Proceed with caution. Why are you in 
Sekigahara's sentinel. Senpai, are you like Akun too? Did you come from the future? We can discuss that later. Do you understand the situation we're in? That area is under attack by D forces. I came here to fight, but I don't know how to control any of this. And this robot's not making a peep. No time for a full rundown. We'll have to settle for the fundamentals. Sentinels are made to be controlled with your mind. Think of it as another body connected to your brain. Try to direct it. You can do it. Like this? Whoa, it moved! But now my head feels weird. It's like scratchy or something. That's the link system of the nanomachines inside your brain. You'll also have a direct feed of information from the Sentinel's sensors. It should sound like your own voice is speaking directly to you. For now, you'll just have to get used to it as you fight. Can you move? Y yes, I can walk, Senpai. They're coming closer. I keep getting these pop-ups in the way when I try to look around. That's your equipment interface. Use that to neutralize the D-forces in front of you. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but how's this? Did I forget to mention that we, the, we get to pilot mechs in this game? I mean, yeah, they're Sentinels, apparently. Uh, I don't know why they're naked, though. That's new. But, okay. Uh, I'm going to hope for the best when it comes to these RTS segments of the game. Apparently, it's not the main segments of the game, but we'll see how it goes anyway. So, attacking. To control your pilots, move the cursor over a pilot and select X. Uh, when the menu is open, press X to select action and destroy the enemy using our mounted machine cannons. Cool. Okay. Battle start. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it's going to keep hitting me, so that's why I, I went to this menu here. Uh, so... We are in Sentinel number 15, apparently. Apparently, it's not this lady's Sentinel. Her name is Fuyu Fuyusaka, I guess? It's not her Sentinel, but we're in, in it anyway. We have an HP bar. We have an EP bar, which I'm assuming is like uh, uh, mana, magic, you know? Like, uh, basically points to use special attacks, I'm assuming. Uh, we can move. We can repair if need be. We can defend which also charges our EP. We can move around the battlefield, or at least uh, the screen of it. Uh, green, I assume, are like allies or ourselves. Red are these demos or D-forces that they just call themselves. These are weak worker ones, I guess. So uh, we'll do action. And then, oh my god. This, I feel like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get so overwhelmed, but yeah, we'll just take it little by little. And this is a tutorial, by the way. I I'm going extra by looking at other things, but um, we have the arm-mounted machine cannons, which use no EP, which is, I guess, good. Um, power. This is 40 times 33. I'm not... Does, is that literally mean times, like, you know, mul multiple? Or do they mean by a grid? I'm not really sure. What the hell WT is? I have no idea. Maybe 7 seconds? Wait time? Maybe that's what it is. Uh, attacks Kaiju within target area in front of the Sentinel with machine cannons. So I'm assuming placement is going to be a huge uh, aspect of this game. We also have multi-rocket launchers. I love the little video that shows up on the right. This is so cool. And I, like, we barely did anything. Um, fires multiple rockets into the target area. Obviously it's stronger, but we can't use it right now. Holy crap, what the hell is this? Sentry gun. I, I think it's like a little... A unit we get the yeah places a small rail gun at the target area auto fires on Kaju okay so select this and oh cool okay so we have like a little range now it is a little sensitive I'm wondering if there's a if there's a good way to kind of do this where look I'm not missing on either one I hope I'm selecting both right now uh okay here we go Down. 
different combat situations might call for different weapons. If they're all concentrated in one area, you could use a wide impact armament, like the rocket launchers. What? What? Uh, okay. Rocket launchers? Where's the rocket launcher button? Check your display. The rig is on your shoulders. Focus on them. My shoulders? Is this how I do it? I guess we're about to find out. So now we're going to use the multi-rocket launchers. I just say attack range with the left analog stick to target as many enemies as possible. Okay. Oh, this is, this is going to use 100 EP. Okay. So, oh, okay. So, like, say for example, I do like this. We're barely going to hit all of them. But do it like this, we're definitely going to hit them all. And because it's a back attack, apparently the, multiple, the damage is going to be multiplied by one and a half. Cool. Yes. I beat the I got him. Oh, you fuck the coon. Can you evacuate? A massive kaiju is approaching from behind. What? Where? Oh, you fuck the coon. Number 15's taken damage to the rear exhaust system. Now you think, you know, I, I don't know why they're naked in these freaking sentinels, but I just imagine my dingle dangles will be freaking cold if it's all, all against all that metal, but you know what, to each their own. But uh, this story's already like, what? I heard him talking about the future and his memories. I don't know what the hell I'm, I'm going to be in for, but I think, I, I think I'll really enjoy it. So this time we want to select Heavy Knuckles, and then we're going to use it to attack the enemies in front of you while moving around. Okay, so action. He also has our mounted machine cannons and multi-rocket launchers, but Heavy Knuckles attacks a ground kaiju two times with Sentinel's giant fists. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at the uh, video there. Okay. Uh, no target available, because I have to move up a little bit. Okay, so this is a definite, a molar, G molar, okay. I punched the shit out of him. Pilot. That really isn't easy me. But how? Did we do it? Oh, I mean, do you want me to push X again, game? I, I was just kind of waiting for you, but uh, yay, we did it. Now I, I do see that on top right we have. A city percentage I'm assuming like you know how badly it gets damaged so the higher that percentage the better uh, it says wave 0-1 so God knows how many waves we're gonna come across when we actually get more in depth here but we also have our score on the bottom right which cool all right me Judo Kurabe's story is now available. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Yay. We're going to do Kurabe's menu. Oh, hold on. What the hell is menu here? So I can save, I can load, title screen, manual. Okay, let's we'll take a look at the options really quick because I didn't really get a chance to. Uh, everything's fine here. Auto advance. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll keep it on keep it on on because it's all voice acted anyway which is going to give my voice a break i'm sure you guys got really sick of me voicing everything in raging loop so yay um 
dialogue type, normal, and I'll do normal. Auto events, wait, that's kind of cool as well. Like, you can just, I have, it's funny that they have it at 0 .8 seconds, not like 1 or 5, or, you know, 0 .5 seconds, it's 0 .8 seconds, okay. Thought cloud controls with the left or right stick. I guess we'll use right. Uh, directional buttons. I can use uh, during thought cloud. Keywords are selected with the directional pad. Or during thought cloud, player is controlled with L. Or the directional. So maybe they're talking about like the left stick. You know, I'll, I'll use. Uh, I'll leave it at default. Uh, when unread dialogues displayed, fast forwarding automatically stops. Yes, that's really good. I'll keep that on. Uh, a splash image is displayed when beginning a protagonist story. Okay. Camera zoom speed. We'll leave it alone. We'll leave these alone. Tilt shift effect. A blur effect is applied over areas out of focus in battle. Now, typically I hate, like, blur effects, or especially motion blur, but I think for something like this, where something's out of focus in battle, I think it's fine. We can autosave, definitely want my subtitles, and I'm liking the English dub so far, especially, so... Uh, options are good to go, I believe. Now, the manual, though... Like, straight up, like a manual, like something I'd get into, like, the... Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> like, because, like... Yeah, the, the game, like, I don't have a manual, but they're like, Hey, let's just put it in the game for you. There's a cat! He looks pissed. Uh, there's a story. Kind of, yeah, we, we heard that newscaster in the very beginning. He reports the end of normal life. Among the mass of fleeing citizens stands a group of boys and girls prepared to face the oncoming despair. Piloting massive robots called Sentinels, they thrust themselves into the final battle to ensure the survival of mankind. Hey, we actually, do I want to take a look at this? I mean, I, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil myself too much. I mean, yeah, you know what? Never mind. You know what? As, as much as I'm tempted, I, I just feel like it's going to spoil things. So let's just hold off and I'll take a look at it later. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll just begin uh, Judo Karabe's story. Yeah. Yeah. I'm assuming he's like the main, main character, but we'll see. Again, what is going on? Come on, Juro, let's go home. Shibakun. Now, if I haven't mentioned this already, like the art style, I already love. Now, I believe this game was developed by Vanillaware, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, feel free to correct me on that. But basically, if you guys remember the game like uh, Odin Sphere or Dragon, or Dragon's Crown, I believe it's called. They have like a very unique art style, and this is where it kind of comes from as well. So, I'm loving it so far. So, basic controls, I can use left analog stick to move around and press X to talk to people. So this is like, the, I think, where the majority of the game's gonna come from, where it's gonna be like a visual novel type of thing. Oh, I can go up or down too. So this is our buddy Kyuta Shiba, I guess. I don't know if we can like examine items or whatnot, but we'll see. Now, isn't this uh, Furosaka? A Furosawa? I, I, I'm, already, I'm forgetting their names. It's gonna take me forever to get everybody's names correct here. What the hell? How'd I get back here? I don't know. Well, I guess I, I'm not missing anything. So let's talk to Shiba. What's up with you? I just get this weird feeling sometimes. Like something's off. What the? Going to school, living my life? It's like I'm not supposed to be here. You've seen too many movies, man. Uh, Shiba's been added to our thought cloud. Sometimes when you learn a specific person or thing, it'll be added as a keyword. I can press triangle to open up the thought cloud to select and contemplate keywords. Select Shiba in the thought cloud. What the fudge? And look, look at me. I have my I have my hand on my chin. Like, hmm, I'm deep in thought. Clown. But he's a good friend. I always talk to him about action flicks.
you can kind of hear him too say when you open it up. That's kind of interesting. Now, if I push it again, it's the same thing. Bit of a class clown. Yeah. But he's a good okay. Friend. I always talk to him about action flips. Ha. Huh. Okay. Uh, we'll just talk to him again. Speaking of movies, I brought your video back. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Already? I just lent it to you yesterday. You wasted no time. Can you blame me? Giant robots, fights in the city? I was on the edge of my seat. <laughs> you sure love Mecha, don't you, Jiro? I mean, who the hell doesn't freaking Gundam and, uh, uh, oh my god, what the hell's a really popular one? Uh, Evangelion. <laughs> there, there's so many. Uh, some keywords can be used on other characters. Uh, when this option is available, a, a pulsating triangle will appear above their head. Okay, and yeah, look, it's, it's pulsating. But can I can I just consider? Oh yeah. Wait, what the? He just whooped out the videotape. That's a big ass VHS, though. What the hell? I'm pretty sure not to not supposed to be that damn big. Okay, so. Let's get out of here. Use it on him. Ah, see, it's linked. Okay. Here you go. Well, let me know if you have any others to recommend. Sure, yeah. You've really turned into a movie buff, huh? <laughs> Do you think it's too much? Well, now that you mention it, I've been seeing the stuff in my dreams, too. Yep, definite movie addiction. You're showing all the signs. Soon enough, you won't know the difference between fiction and reality. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I've seen a movie about that. I really love the art style and just like the animations of the characters. Uh, I can hold circle to move faster. Ah, okay, well that, that's good to know. So yeah, this is uh, Fuyus uh, Fuyusaka. Can I talk to her? Fuyusaka sounds asleep again. School's out for the day. Should I wake her up? Come to think of it, in that movie yesterday, the girl piloting the robot looked awfully familiar. So he just thinks everything was a movie? I guess we can consider her. She always seems to be sleeping. <laughs> it's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. Yeah, yeah, I can, uh... You bring up a good point. Uh... I don't know. It's not like I can do anything else, though. Um... Can I talk to Shiba again? Hey, by the way, I saw that one video up for rent. Oh, the one you told me about the other day? Really? Yep gonna rent it I've got to oh crap give me a minute I'll be right back <sighs> it's always something isn't it guess I'll wait here wonder what he's up to I just assumed he had to use the bathroom or something but what about that one video what the hell is he talking about that movie's a hidden gem it's tough to get a hold of these days hmm are you talking about the ring <laughs> And again, this apparently is taking place in 1985, so that's something. Hey, Fuyusaka-san. Rise and shine. Uh. Huh? Class is already over. Kurabe-kun? Um, thanks. You were out cold, huh? Just now, I... I had another weird dream. And you were there. Huh? Me? You dreaming about me, Fuyusaka? Oh boy. Anyone else I can talk to? Uh, sorry. I've got plans with someone. Let me guess. It's... Nenji-kun, right? Ew, no. I mean... It is a guy, but... Yuri-chan met someone special, too. 
I'm the only one left. You're all so lucky with boys. It's not fair. Deep breaths, Miwako. Oh no, she's throwing an anime girl tantrum. Hold on a sec, Miwako. Did you need something? Uh, not really. So as I was saying... Are you kidding me? I wasn't even near you. I was just trying to go to the right. There you go. Jeez. Ew, no. Ew, no. Guy, Never mind. Uh, okay, let's just talk to... Uh... Fuyasaka again. What kind of dream was it? Well, um... Deep breaths, Miwako. Dude! Uh, this sucks, man. Can't find Amiguchi anywhere. Wait a minute. What's going on here? You two are looking awfully cozy. <laughs> it's not like that. Hmm? Oh, yeah? Then what's the problem? <laughs> Don't mind me. Carry on. <sighs> Sorry, Fuyusaka-san. Let's talk about this some other time. <sighs> yeah. I'm going home now. Okay. See you tomorrow. Guys, why is it all adorable? Like, I love, I love the all the animations. Hey, crepes are good hey. as hell. Oh. Could you move? Sorry. I'm fairly certain you had a lot other room, but I love the view from the old classroom. But the new one's not bad either. I can see the whole schoolyard. I don't know. This is super cozy to me, guys. Like Everyone's absolutely cozy. Ah. Oh. I should join a club too. I know, I shouldn't tease you like that. But it's your fault for keeping secrets from me. It's about time for me to go home. But seriously, Amiguchi, we gotta catch that guy in quick. You wanna hang out again that badly? He's got all the good video games. You're just waiting for me to play him. But the sucky thing is, he's never around unless you make plans. Why does it feel like you're just using the poor guy? Anyway, let's learn a little bit more about Amaguchi. Amaguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. It still feels like uh, we're just kind of utilizing him for his resources. Uh, we just knew we just found out about this guy so i could be obviously off the mark but either way uh let's connect it with uh shiba you know the amiguchi kun usually grabs a snack on his way out maybe he's still around oh in the cafeteria that's right he was there during break too Yeah, what is it? Uh, okay, I, I, I guess I'll talk to you, talk to you. Those papers on the podium. Could you take them to Miss Morimura in the nurse's office? Me? Oh, well, it's your turn this week. Oh, is it? The papers are on the podium. Okay, I guess I'll do that if it's part of my job. Is this it? Y yes, that's right. Please take care of it. Uh, they're splitting the top right of the screen. Yes, they are. Oh, she's leaving. Oh, well, there she goes. Uh, so it does make me wonder. Wait, do you guys see that weird flicker? Like, on him, or is it just me? It, it might be just... I don't know if it's a capture or maybe it's happening in the game, too. I don't know why. Anyway, um... 
but I'm wondering, can I easily miss stuff in this game? Like when I'm when I'm doing these segments, like where I don't talk to somebody all the way, or I miss an item, maybe? Because picking up those stack of papers basically confirm, like, hey, I can grab things now. But we'll see. Sorry, I can't. These papers. I need to take them to Miss Morimura. Seriously? I'll do what you gotta do. But we're not giving up on Amiguchi, alright? I'm gonna head over to the cafeteria. Grab your bag and meet me there when you can. Alright. Sounds like a plan. I'm assuming this is my bag. It sure is. Uh, I can hold R1 to fast forward text. It will automatically pause on unread text. I can then push the touchpad to view the text log. I'm gonna push the option menu to open the pause menu and select manual to view the controls, which I was about to do, but I decided to hold off on it because I was worried that uh, it was gonna do something I wouldn't like. So it tells me I can exit the classroom either way. So okay. Oh. Do I not have, like, free reign of where to go, or is it just kind of, like, set locations and that's that? Like, I, I can't actually walk in the hallway, walk to the nurse's office. Or maybe I'm just not there yet, but either way, uh, I guess I have everything I need, right? Actually, hold on. Uh, if we can't consider something, it's just, it's just not going to be there. So, okay. Let's go to the nurse's office then. Oh man. I have no idea where the hell this game is gonna take me. Excuse me. Hmm. She's not here. Maybe she's piloting a sentinel. Maybe that's the big plot of the game. Everybody's a freaking sentinel driver. I I don't know. Uh what else do we got here? I guess I'll just drop off the papers here. I can't go to the cabinet on the bottom right, unfortunately, so... Okay. Fine. Here you go. What should I do with these papers? Can I just leave them here? Hmm? There's a document with my picture on it. What is this? Yeah, that's a little weird. I'll just take a peek. Juro... Izumi? It's my photo, but... The last name is wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. <sighs> Symptoms. Psyche stabilized via drug administration. Patient is obedient. General good health. Drugs, huh? Damn, nurse! Hello? You're doing that on purpose, by the way. You're acting like they're so damn heavy you would need to support them with your arms like that. You're doing that on purpose. Ugh. Sorry, I'm just being stupid. Uh, what can I... It's showing the triangle on the top right. Well, actually, I am a little bit confused when it shows a uh, triangle on the top right, and then it has a the red mark. Maybe it means, like, there's something I can do in a room somewhere. i assuming, okay, with Miss Murimura, but... Boy! Okay. What brings you here? Anything I can do for you? What brings you here? All right, just figured she had anything else to say. I have a, sta a stack... <laughs> Definitely got a stack for you here. I think you forgot these. Oh my. You brought them back for me? I was told it was my turn this week. I see. You're a good kid, Karabe kun Thank you. I appreciate the help. Shiba kun's waiting for me. I should go to the cafeteria. I saw you blush. Come on, buddy. One more thing. Kurabe kun, how is your current condition? Condition? 
Lady? I'm a little bit confused. What do you mean by that? I mean... Uh, I mean, granted, we saw a little paper, but... It looked incorrect. My condition? You know. Any heart palpitations? Dizziness? Headaches? Are you getting enough sleep at night? Why do you ask? There's a nasty cult going around. At this time of year? That's a bit odd, isn't it? I'll give you some medicine, just in case. No, thank you. I'm fine. Really. I see. If you'll excuse me. See, what I'm curious there, though, is... In what what I would have been, what I would have been allowed to exit the office here be, uh, before asking about my condition. Now I don't know if you guys saw that too, but like she walked up on us, and Judo did not make it inconspicuous at all that he was looking at her bazongas. He just was just looking down, like holy crap, those are two melon balls right there. Like it's like, dude, come on. Although something's going on here. Uh, yeah, maybe, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I guess we could talk about Shu, I guess. Amiguchi-kun's not the most responsible. He's smart. Oops, I pushed the wrong button. That, he's... Miss Morimura, have you seen Amiguchi-kun anywhere? Amiguchi-kun, the first year? I just made my rounds, but I don't believe I ran into him. That's okay. You seem to get along well with Amiguchi-kun. Yeah. I was just thinking of hanging out with him again. It's a bit surprising, honestly. Do you two have something in common? Oh, uh... I, I guess we do. Maybe, uh... I guess that one video. I was gonna say maybe Shiba, because like maybe we're all friends together, but... I guess we'll talk about that one video. We just hang out around the TV. Movies, video games, that kind of stuff. Hmm. Now that you mention it, your eyes are a little red. Um, I guess I stared at the screen for too long. <sighs> you need to lead a healthier life. Shall I make a house call this weekend? Huh? I'm fine, really. I'll get my life in order. Well, all right then. You also need to stop staring at something else while you're at it, Kuribe. I mean, holy crap. Would you like some medicine after all? Uh, no, sorry. What do you need? Uh, well... I guess nothing? Would you like some medicine... Oh, so I can hold down R1 just for the hell of it. I wonder if that means anything. Okay, well, I guess that's that. We we did all this already, so I guess we'll just head off to the cafeteria. Oh, oh you're still here? Shiba-kun, what's up? Amiguchi wasn't in the cafeteria. Figured I'd try here. Well, guess that's all we can do. Let's drop by the video store on the way home. Come on! <sighs> wow. Just looking at the environments, too, is just really... I don't know. I can see why people really enjoyed this already. I'm like... It's it's kind of rough for me to find a game where I can find a really relaxing atmosphere, especially when it comes to like the art direction and like just the overall environment. But this, I don't know. This is cozy. This is uh, I, I hate saying realistic, but I feel like this is something you'd experience. I don't I don't know what I'm getting at here, but I I'm really really liking what it's presenting so far. Um, I don't see anything else, so I guess we'll just talk to Shiba. Something wrong? Mm, he couldn't catch Amiguchi. 
the video store was a waste of time. This sucks, man. It's true that one video was already rented out, but we didn't come back empty-handed. What, that old-ass kaiju flick? Daimos versus Mecha Daimos. It's a real masterpiece from 74. You and your giant robots. Hey, I got a flyer from the theater the other day. It showed what movies they're playing this month. Guess what was on there? The original Daimos. Do you want to go? Jeez, a hundred times wasn't enough for you? I mean, apparently not. But it's interesting because it's like that little RTS segment we had, it mentioned the die most and all that. So, like, what's real? What isn't real? Is this all a dream? Like, what plot twist are they going to throw at me here? Either way, let's, uh, that big ass flyer he has, let's, uh, let's read about it. A sci fi movie from 1954, heavy on the special effects. The first in what will become a long running series. It must have been amazing to see those special effects from 54. It's actually interesting, like, you know, um, because sometimes I end up watching uh, Rift Tracks or Mr. Science Theater 3000, and sometimes they have, like, behind-the-scenes aspects of these old movies, and they kind of talk about how they pull off some of these old, you know, cool visual effects, and it's pretty damn interesting how they implement it. It really is. Uh, do I not talk to him anymore? Oh, I guess we just continue. <sighs> I'll pass on the arcade. It's too shady these days. Why not get a game console? Then you can stay safe at home. My little brother totally tried that argument on our dad. He was like, if you don't buy me one, I'll fall in with the wrong crowd. I mean... <laughs> Maybe before the days of good old online gaming, before... Yeah, kids screaming at you that they're gonna do your mother and all that. Oh, it's not safe anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Sure is popular these days, right? I even see her in TV commercials. Everyone at school seems to love her. Think she'll be in this year's award show? Maybe. I have no no idea what hell they're talking about, hey, but maybe. Are we going home? Wrong way, man. Shut up, Sheba. I'm looking around. Might, meet, might miss an Easter egg. Like, what the hell is this old guy doing? Just, I guess, just wait and go home too. All right. Come on, Juro. Let's go home. Okay. That's not up. So I guess we'll just go right. The Sentinel isn't responding. Miracun? The activation. You know this guy? I know I did it right. Why won't it start? Ah. Uh, so now he's actually talking about the sentinels what the hell so it's not all a dream huh Miracun. Uh, sure Okun. what's wrong is everything all right you look awful yeah because that's what everybody likes to hear some days hey man you look like shit today thanks buddy I appreciate it do you feel sick? I'm fine. Your forehead. Did it just light up? Sorry, but you shouldn't touch it. What the? My hand's lighting up too. No. What's going on? This is bad. Sentinel number 13. Transmitting. Don't tell me. Are you? <laughs> what was that? Over there. He summoned a sentinel. Wait. It looks different. That's a robot from that movie. You idiot, what are you doing? Send that thing back! I did that? Okino's damn code. He added a forced activation protocol. Well, this'll be interesting. Are you? You leave me no choice. 
I'm gonna need you to forget about this for now. Shibakun? <laughs> What's going on? To be continued, I'd wh what? I don't know. I'm so intrigued, but also so confused. <laughs> what? What is this? Mystery files obtained. Event archives obtained. Did I get them all? Did I miss something? N that's what I'm worried about now. I feel like I I'm, I'm going to miss crap. Oh, crap. What, progress 11%. So, wait. 11% like of his overall story? Uh, I know we got a trophy, which... Can I look that up? Um, I'm afraid, like, I, I don't, I don't want to spoil myself with the trophies, though. So, okay, uh, I guess we'll close the results. Excuse me. All right. Uh, Fu uh, Fuyasaka story is not available. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Can I go to? Hmm. No, I can't go back to... What's his name? Story. A judo. Um... Should I continue? I don't know, guys. Like, I'm lost, but I'm intrigued. Ah, oh, you know what? I'll make a long uh, intro video. Let's go. Yori Fuyasaka. So I guess because the game's called 13, 13 Sentinels, I'm assuming we're going to have 13 people to play against. She's doing the anime thing! She has something in her mouth that she's late. running away. I'm late! I can't believe I slept through my alarm! Those weird dreams won't leave me alone. I'm losing beauty sleep. Almost there. That's a yes. Watch where you're going, okay? You could get hurt. Oh, sorry. Oh. Wait, are you? Oh no! The morning assembly! An uncanny resemblance. She dropped this? A student ID. First year, Niori Fuyusaka. <sighs> Might be worth looking into. Is there something up with that cat? Because I saw it up there. But. Okay. Yuri chan. And good morning, sleepyhead. Mm. You are sound asleep. Class is over? The teacher kept giving you dirty looks. Duh. You slept through the whole class. I'm Kisaragi. Tell me, Kisaragi. Ah, I'm Sawatari. And I'm... Fuyusaka-san, right? I heard the teacher trying to call on you. Really? Oh, I didn't notice. <sighs> I've barely even started my high school life. And this is how I make a first impression? Yeah, it's never good when you fall asleep in class. I think I did that maybe once or twice in high school. And the, the, the one time I remember I did it for sure, uh... I was so dumb, like, it was, uh, I was literally right next to the teacher's desk, and we were watching this boring-ass movie, I had a long night the previous night, I just could not stay awake. And what's funny, like, you know, I was a good student, so, you know, frankly, the teachers gave me a break if I, if I ever messed up on anything, so the teacher would just, like, yell out my name, but was laughing, because it's like, you don't, you never, you know, sleep, and it's like, I'm... Oh, I was just exhausted, lady. Give me a break. You a chance, my good friend. She's gentle, kind, loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. 
what is this? <laughs> I was gonna say, why do they have like a, it looks like a confessional in this uh, in this room? But I guess this is the closet. Um, let's see what we got around here before we talk to anyone else. Oh man, I just really like how this all looks. So I guess yeah, we, we just gotta talk to Tomi. Nice to meet ya. You too, Kisaragi-san. Call me Usami. Weird nickname, but I'm used to it. In that case, you can call me Iori. It's nice to be on a first name basis. I'm Miwako. Okay, added to the thought cloud. All right, let's uh, consider her. Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. Where'd you go to middle school, Usami-chan? Oh, uh... You know, nowhere special. Kinda of far away, though. Huh. Sorry, I have to ask. Usami-chan... Yeah? You and Goto-senpai... Are you close? Goto? Nah, not really. Why? Well... He's awfully popular here at school. Seriously? That guy? Jeez. So that's how it is. I saw you two talking in the hall earlier. Yeah, uh... Don't worry. He's not my type. Just an acquaintance. I see. But an acquaintance of what, though? What the hell were you guys talking about? Huh? Your forehead is red. Well, she was sleeping on the desk. Oh, um... I kind of bumped into someone. Now the rest of your face is red. Huh? I wonder why. Well, uh... The guy I ran into is kind of cute, so... Jeez, I feel awkward just thinking about it. Sounds like love at first sight. Really? Definitely. It was a destined encounter. You two are meant to be. Um, you think so? Maybe. <laughs> Cute guy has been added to the thought circle. Really? All right. <laughs> What is this? My heart is racing. I wish I could have talked to him more. He wasn't wearing our uniform, was he? Maybe he's from a different school. Maybe. I don't know. But, uh... Ah, oh God, I, I don't know. Like, I know there's obviously, like, a, hu a whole other, like, sci-fi story going on here, but this stuff, too, I mean... Frankly, when I watch anime, I like the more slice of life anime or comedic anime. Like, those are my go to, you know? I don't know why. I guess it's just a comfort feeling, I guess? I don't know. You sure yawn a lot. Are you a night owl? Not really. It's just. I keep having strange dreams, they keep me up at night. What kind of dreams? It's hard to remember the details, but... Last night... I was surrounded by flames, like... A burning city. This huge shadow started coming for me. And then I woke up. Uh... <sighs> Is it lunchtime yet? Still out of it, I see. Is it lunch? The freaking yawn is adorable. But that's how I am too. It's like, is it time to eat yet? <laughs> Shall we walk home together? I'd love to hear more about this boy you met. Um. You're welcome to join us, Usami chan. There's a new crepe shop we could stop by. Crepes? Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. If you guys never had crepes before, they are delicious. What the hell was that? 
Jeez, that door was impossible to open. How old is this place? Gosh, Natsuno-chan. Don't break the door. I didn't. Are you sure? I mean... I seem to use a lot of force there. This school is so old, it still uses hanging lamps. You don't see that every day. Yes, I didn't really uh, under, uh, didn't really see that. Now, see, the thing is here. Look, it's still green. So I'm assuming, like, when it when they're not green, you did everything you could with them at the moment. But if it's still green, go ahead and consider more. This school is so old; it still uses hanging lamps. You don't see that every day. Or I'm wrong. Or maybe I'm supposed to link it with somebody. Yeah, maybe with Nis Nisato. Okay. Is it your class next door, Not Chun? Don't worry about it. I had to see your smiling faces. You know this girl? Yes, she's a good friend. The three of us have known each other since grade school. Natsuna-chan, this is Usami-chan. Last name, Kisaragi. And I'm Natsuno Minami. Nice to meet you. You guys are so lucky. I want to be in your class, too. Yeah, see, that, that's what always sucked about growing up sometimes, uh, like, when you're, like, really close friends with, obviously, your friends, right? But, and this is more so, at least for me, how it was, it was more so in high school. A lot of times we, w we won't be in the same homeroom class together or we won't be in the same classes together. So, it was kind of difficult to hang out until maybe lunchtime, but even then it wasn't guaranteed you guys were going to be in the same lunch. So, it is what it is, though. Our school's pretty old. They were working on a new building for this year, but I heard construction was delayed. I think we'll be moving to the new one next month. Sure hope so. This place is a dump. I heard it was built during the war. Whoa. That means it's over 40 years old. Minami-san, there you are. Busted. What are you doing in someone else's classroom? The teacher told you to prepare for the next class. Yeah, I know. Oh, right. You know that cat we were talking about? I saw it. Really? Where? Outside the science room. Minami-san. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Jeez, a loud bang. I wonder if it's the same cat we saw outside the school. I think I know that kitty. It has black fur with a white belly, right? You've seen it too, Miwachan? All the time. Dang. No fair. I haven't seen it yet. So it's behind the science room, huh? That's it. I'm gonna go looking. Hmm. Guess that nap did her some good. I'm telling you guys, there's something really important about that damn cat. I don't know what just yet, but it's important. I don't see it anywhere. Where could it be? Oh, come on. You can't be that blind. You were facing the direction initially where it was coming from. You must have seen it walking towards you. Whenever I think about him, my heart starts racing. It's like love at first sight. If I said that, would he laugh at me? Maybe. I mean... I'm the type of guy who would probably be flattered like no, like nobody's business if they mention something like that to me, but I'm fairly certain not everybody's like... This is a very important plot device, ladies and gentlemen. We have found the kitten. It does look cute. I am not a cat person, but uh, some of them can be pretty damn cute. What are you doing hiding back here? Huh? Where'd it go? But why? Don't act like you don't know. 
It's Kurabe-kun, with Amiguchi-kun. We have something here. Amiguchi-kun, this isn't like you. Just listen, okay? This is a first for me, too. You feel it, right? <sighs> I want to pursue this with you. Please. I don't know. It's just... Huh? Fuyusaka-san? What is she doing here? I... Uh, mm -hmm. I think as long as you love each other, it's okay. What? Don't mind me! Bye! Wait! There seems to have been a misunderstanding. <laughs> me and this guy? Dating? <laughs> That's rich. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. We were just talking about something. Yeah, the strange dreams we've been having. Dreams? We all have the same dreams. What's going on? Every day, I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. Every day... So, what are these dreams? Well, lately, it's been a lot of crazy stuff. Different every time. I don't even think they're in chronological order. But they do seem related. Hmm. Weird thing is, same goes for this guy. It's like we're seeing the same stuff. The more he tells me, the more I think it all lines up. Makes you think our dreams are connected. It does sound pretty um, far-fetched, but something obviously is going on, right? I mean, obviously, they're all having the same dream. I am interested in what he said they're not in chronological order, though. Maybe we've just seen too many movies. I guess we do have that in common. We first met at that video rental joint, after all. Still, I can't help but think it's something else. Like, I don't know, telepathy? If not that, maybe it's a vision of the future. The future? Anyway, I'm just saying. Whenever we dream this stuff, we should compare notes. Hmm. I know it sounds crazy. Do you believe us? Well, actually... I'm more surprised to hear that's all it was. Cause I thought... Hmm, class is starting. We can talk more later. Let's go, Fuyusaka-san. Oh, I guess we just finished Fuyusaka-kan's, Fuyusaka uh, cons. Her, uh, her prologue. So... Mr. Files obtained three, Event Archives obtained three. I, I'm still curious to know if I missed something, but I don't, I don't know how I'm supposed to find out. What? Wave? Why is this happening? So that was just episode one I just did? I'm confused. Wait, wait, hold on a minute. Was this, is this all still a tutorial here? I can't move left or right. I can't do anything. I, I guess I can just push X, but I don't know if, I don't know if I want to do that just yet. I think I'm just going to go ahead and save it. And I think I'm going to go ahead and just call it uh, an introductory video here for today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I am very highly intrigued. To say the absolute least so far. Um, basically, what you guys are seeing here now, like, talking to the characters, using the Thought Cloud, things like that, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the majority of the game. And then you have the, the mech battles, the RTS sections, which, you know, focus, they, they encompass the other part of the game, but maybe not as much. But... Either way, I, like, there's already things that have been happening here where it's like, what? Like, the whole thing about Shiba. 
It's like, hey, dude, what the hell? You activate a protocol and something with the code. I'm like, huh? What? What the hell is he talking about? So... All I know is uh, I can't wait to play more. And hopefully you guys are interested in this as well, too. Uh, I guess we'll just kind of wait and see how things end up happening. So, as usual, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time for Let's Play 13 Sentinels. Love you all so much. Have a great day.